I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing you with solutions of GCE Mathematics Advanced Level question paper. Here is question number two. A curve C has equation y equals to x square minus 2x minus 24 square root x, where x is greater than zero, right? So only then this square root x is valid. It could be zero also though. Okay. The question here is, find the derivative dy dx, part 2 is to find d2y dx squared, b is to verify that c has a stationary point when x equals to 4. So when we say stationary point, it really means that dy dx should be equal to 0, right? So that means dy dx equals to 0. Now, part C is determine the nature of this stationary point, giving a reason for your answer. So, we can find relative maxima or minimum. That basically means uh, relative, you can say local, maximum or minimum, correct? That is what it means. So I hope this concept is clear. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Right? So let's first find the derivative of this function. So we have dy dx as equal to 2x minus 2 minus 24. Square root x derivative is half x to the power of minus half. So we could write this as 2 square root x clear so clearly we have a restriction that x cannot be zero so that makes sense right now this could be written as 2x minus 2 24 divided by 2 is 12 so we have minus 12 over square root x right so that becomes our first derivative now, to get the second derivative, let's use this one. So, d2y dx squared basically is equal to derivative of 2x is 2, derivative of minus 2 is 0. Now, derivative of this, this really means x to the power of minus half, right? So, that gives you minus 12 times minus half, right? Times x to the power of minus half minus 1, which is minus 3 by 2, clear? So, so when you open this bracket, you get 2 minus minus becomes plus half divides into 12 6 times and we have x to the power of, let me write here, minus means you have to write in the denominator, right? So, so we have um, x to the power of 3 square root, clear? So that is what is your second derivative, clear? Part B is verify that C has a stationary point at x equals to 4. It really means that if I write 4 here, will it be 0 or not? Right? That's what it means. So let's verify. So what we are going to do now is uh, we know dy dx. So we'll find dy dx at x equals to 4 at this point. Right? So we'll substitute 4 here. So we get 2 times 4 minus 2 minus 12 over square root of 4, right? So that gives you 8 minus 2 minus 12 over 2, right? Square root of 4. So that is 8 minus 2 minus 6, sorry. 8 minus 2 minus 6, which is indeed 0. And therefore, yes, it is a stationary point. Clear? So I'm actually... Just uh, squeezing in the solution here, since I want to just, I don't want to move my page. That's the idea, right? So let's minimize that. You can see all the steps clearly here. Now part C is determine the nature of the stationary point, giving a reason for your answer. So now we could have, since we have a stationary point at x equals to 4, so we know x equals to 4, is a stationary point since 
dy dx at x equals to 4 is equal to 0. Now that really means that it could have maximum or a minimum, right? So how do we justify that? We have an expression for d to y dx squared. The expression is 2 plus x over cube root, I mean square root of x cube. Now this expression is always greater than 0, right? This is always positive. So we know d to y dx squared at x equals to 4 is greater than greater than 0, right? That means the graph is going to be concave upright. So, so that really means that at this point we have a local minimum, right? So that now since that is the case, this is greater than 0, graph is concave up and the stationary point is local minimum. Is that clear to you? So, so we have shown that we do have a stationary point and analyzing this stationary point. Since the graph is concave up, the second derivative being positive, we have a local minimum at this point. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So that is how we are going to answer this question. So I'm going to take more than 20 questions from this test paper and one by one we'll take them and go kind of slowly so that you understand all the concepts as we move forward, right? So feel free to take, sol uh, to uh, look into solution of other questions. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.